Zuck the cuck drinks water like a duck, but he also drinks your data. So tell him and Google to shove your data up their swing swings by downloading the Brave browser. It's free, blocks online advertising, and protects your privacy and data from evil tech companies. You only see ads if you want to see them, and you get cryptocurrency for your attention. Don't let Zuck use you to make a buck. Download Brave by clicking on the link down below. Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am going to charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! How are you kids doing? Assholeconsulting.com. I have, as I always do, I'm the world's greatest economist because sometimes I admit when I don't have the answer. I don't have the answer to this one, not with any certainty. But we're going to gamble. That's what it is. And that's all these type of life decisions are is a gamble. An educated gamble, but a gamble nonetheless. Hey, asshole, I've enjoyed your videos and books for a few years now. And it was a great feeling when I first stumbled upon your content and seeing someone with the same mindset. Background information. I'm 19 years old. See? 19. That's the time to help you guys. I can't help you when you're 39. I can help you when you're 19. I'm 19 years old and I've always considered myself significantly more mature than people my age. I'm currently a reservist in the military as a medic and through the military basically got paid to become an EMT and it is what I do in the civilian side so I make decent money for my age. College student become a licensed paramedic. Ugh. What about, my grandpa was a medic in the military and he became a, um, a funeral home director. How about that? A mortician. He went and got mortuary science. He was, he was gainfully employed. Um, <clears throat> being an EMT, I'm halfway there with no debt and haven't touched my GI Bill. Have a truck I paid for cash and live with my parents as I take care of my mom. I plan to become a fire paramedic, 60000 plus salary. What do you mean plus salary? Oh, plus salary. I see. It's over 60000 uh, And invest in real estate as a side income since I'd only work twice a week as a medic. And I know a few successful people that currently rent properties have agreed to teach me a few pointers. Yeah, dude, if you could become a carpenter and learn to wire, frame... Sheetrock, insulation, uh, plumbing, uh, man, you can, roofing, you can almost practically build your own damn house. I leave the plumbing and the electrical work to the pros. Um, the thing is, I've met what I believe is the perfect girl. I know I'm going to sound like a typical dumb 20-year-old, but I know it's not simply infatuation. Here's some pointers and things to play off of my decision. <clears throat> She's very attractive and I've had more attractive women after me, but they all had issues that I knew weren't going to play off well in the long run, so physical infatuation is not it. We're both pretty traditional. Both her parents are devout Christians, and although I don't consider myself religious, my morals are conservative, and so are hers. We want to eventually raise kids. She is a loving woman. She should. She is loving as a woman should ideally be. Uh, she checks on me often, cooks and does the little things like bring me a plate and cleans around which I find attractive knowing how tentative, uh, attentive, I thought you meant ten attentive, not tentative, attentive. Uh, she is going to school to become a surgical tech, uh, starting here in your state. They make around 24 an hour. That's good. She's in a, a, a tech. She's not getting brainwashed by the leftist, Marxist, again, the feminist, oh, you know, does he have a penis? Cut it off. Area in the healthcare is a huge sector and hospitals are abundant. We've been together a long distance for a year. We met in California, planned to move uh, to another state. Don't worry about that. And talked ever since. She even surprised me with plane tickets recently to go visit her and her family, which was insane to me. And we had the greatest time. Her family is also very loving. We get along very well. Dad is a great guy and in the picture. What do you mean it doesn't look good? It doesn't get to look any better than that. <clears throat> we never fight. No petty bullshit if we end up disagreeing about something we talk about and end up joking about it a few months later. Doesn't let her appearance get the best of her. Appearance does not affect her personality one bit. Now here are the key things. I'll be deploying mid-2020. Won't have to worry about bills or frivolous spending. What the fuck am I going to spend money on in the desert? She is undocumented. Great. <laughs> Just can't one over the plate ever, can we, guy? Just not one over the plate. I think this plays a big part in the way she is as I've come to, fo come to found girls from third world countries well, what third? Mexico. I thought you were Mexico, but maybe not Mexico. Second world, solid second world. A lot more traditional, appreciative than girls from the U.S. I'd like to start working on her paperwork and get her documented as being in the military will be of huge help. 
By the time I get back, she'll be done with her degree, and it won't be much if she isn't allowed to work. So what do you think, asshole? Oh, well, wait, how can she be? Is she on a student visa? I guess the legal stuff doesn't matter. Um, you know, oh, she's conservative. Well, what the fuck is she doing here illegally? And more so, what's her family doing here illegally? I mean, is this it, just a fucking... I know, I know. Claire, it's just a shit show. Enjoy the decline. I don't care. Just calm down. Calm down. What do you think, asshole? Am I being... Am I over... My mind being so young, I've got my shit more together than most people I know in their early 20s. I know it's a statistical anomaly, but this girl has all the traits I consider wife material and has always looked for. She's someone I could trust once the shit hits the van and eventually raise a family with things. All right. There is... <clears throat> You can talk to any older man. There was this zone back when we would talk about getting married, and maybe it was a possible idea. Uh, the the conventional age women are ripe to get married is in their late twenties. Uh, Rollo Tomasi uh, at the RationalMail.com he calls it the epiphany stage. They realize they're getting older. They've party. They've done it. They're like, oh, I better settle down. But there was this pre-epiphany stage, and it wasn't, it wasn't an epiphany. It was just they weren't corrupted. Um, there were girls in their late teens, you know, uh, even junior, senior in high school, because once again, I'm not talking for us old friends, but if you're 19, it's perfectly nothing wrong with dating a 17-year-old as it's legal. Um, but before they got to college or before they got corrupted, uh, there was this first window of opportunity where women were marriage material. I remember there were a couple girls where it's like, they might have been, they might have been, or at least they were definitely quality women back then. If they get into college, not so much because of feminism and indoctrination, although that too, but they're in their career, they get into their zone, their environment changes, then their priorities change, and, and on top of it, they're stuck in college where the men they're running into are not real men. I'm not talking college men, I'm talking... Women go to school for the liberal arts. There's not really any masculine real men there. Those guys aren't going to make quality husbands or be able to support people. And they're not going to go to the IT department because, well, they hate math. We know I'm, I'm, oh, they're nerds. They're squares. All right, fine. <clears throat> uh, point is, by the age of 20, that window has closed for a lot of women. They're no longer that sweet, nice, and innocent um, thing. And it's rare very rare, but it happens. And that's why we talked about that window, although this was 20 years ago, or maybe not 20 years, but 15 years ago. And it seems like this is what you got here. Uh, she didn't go to a four-year institution. She was smart. She went and got herself a, a trade and a skill. Um, and then all this other stuff where it's just, she dotes on you. She kind of picks up after you a little bit. Take, dude, she likes you. Uh, and this is very rare. Very rare. I've been lucky enough to have this, uh, but it was also very rare. And the key thing is you both are on the same plan. You both want to have kids and you both want to have a family and you're done with the women. And I don't even think she wants to go bother dealing with the dating and the nightclub scene. Uh, as you pointed out, she is from uh, second or third world and is a little bit more grounded in reality. And since you guys are on the same page <clears throat> when it comes to having children, uh, general life goals, work hard, she has a good uh, skill, um, you are gainfully employed, you, you got your plan, and she seems, and you've talked about it, you don't get, she, that's the big thing, you don't fight, that's awesome, man, I mean, it's just, wow, she likes you, she gets it, like, oh, support this guy, and not nag him, holy shit, that is so rare, man, um, so I'm giving you my official Gen X blessing, and that was the official Gen X thing. Only I can do it. It's very complicated. None of you millennials or Zers can. It's just very complicated shit. So complicated, you boomers can't even do it. But yeah, you got my endorsement on this one, man. Um, it doesn't... It, it, if, if it, I don't know who, who else you would marry if not this person. You're not going to find this again. Not that you were looking. Um, but our Glorious Carl. You may not know him, but Glorious Carl from the olden days. Uh, his son brought home this wonderful woman, just this, and me and Glorious Cowgirl were like, how the hell, did he, where did he find that one? And we both pulled him up and said, 
listen, you dumb shit, you better not fuck this one up. That is never going to happen again. You are not going to find that girl. She is a sweet, wonderful woman. And, and I, oh, Glorious Carl's uh, daughter-in-law is just a saint. Just a saint. Well, you better no fuck. Because, buddy, you ain't going to see this again. And you know what? There is no guarantee. Can't guarantee you shit. I can't. She could... Just be using you for a green card. It's totally possible. Um, and that's the only one concern I have is that you have not, that you've been doing this distance wise. I'd be moving there and living with, not with her, but, you know, dating, um, you know, living in the same town. You know, have a nice long courtship, longer than you've had now. Uh, so when you get back from deployment, um, you know, I would, I would, you know, and have that chat like, eh, I got to deploy and I get back. What if I come over here and, you know, uh, you know then, then we, then we kind of maybe a little bit serious and, you know, and say, oh, okay. And then, you know, you guys have that conversation, but yeah, dude, it doesn't look any better. It really doesn't get to look any better than this. And, uh, yeah, I would say if there's a girl you're going to marry, this would be it. She's in that zone, real legit degree it is not a spoiled North American Kuanta ha ha. And um, and if this doesn't work, dude, then I don't know what would. Really, I don't. I, I wouldn't know. I'll tell you this: if you don't, uh, you know, if you don't follow up on this to its logical conclusion, whether you get married or not, like give it a shot. Um, if you don't follow up on this, you will regret it because you are not going to find this alignment with with your goals and your ideal. It, you're just not. It just it just isn't. I don't dare say you found a unicorn, but this sounds like a very nice girl. All right, there you go. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. Links down below. Contact. You see, he contacted me before. Before there were problems. That's the time to contact Asshole Consulting. Give the gift of Asshole Consulting. Spread the good word. Check out my books and the links all in the description below. See you guys then. Toodles.